Welcome to the Academic Social Networking video series. I'm Rachel. We're going over the four platforms that we want all faculty of nursing uh, faculty members to be using. As a reminder, they are ORCID or ORCID, Google Scholar, ResearchGate, and Academia. Today we'll be talking about ResearchGate. ResearchGate is a European social networking site specifically for scientists and researchers. It's mostly used in North America and Europe, but it is gaining popularity in Asia. It's very similar to academia.edu if you've already seen the academia video. It's kind of like a mixture of Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, it is the largest academic social network in terms of active users. So more people actively use ResearchGate than any other platform. Uh, Google Scholar is catching up, but it's Google Scholar is much more passive. People don't post the same way they do on ResearchGate. Uh, ResearchGate links to and displays your published scholarly articles. So when you get published, it shows up on ResearchGate. Uh, you can follow certain research interests or members. So maybe you're really into pediatric nursing and you can type in that search term and then you will get emails anytime uh, a, an article is published that meets your keywords. Uh, you can ask questions to members. You can interact with scholars from around the world. Uh, there's also something called the RG score, and this is just a citation impact score. Uh, and it's, it's not the same as, say, a Scopus index for a journal, but it is somewhat similar in terms of how impactful your research is. So why should we use ResearchGate? The number one reason is to connect with other researchers. It is a great way to get conversations started. Uh, it's another tool for widely circulating your research. So if you are active on ResearchGate, again, the more you put out and the more you boost, the more people see. And so that enhances the reputation of the faculty of nursing. Uh, ResearchGate is also an easy access point for all your research for other people. So it's easy for someone to click on your name and go, oh, I see what they've published. Here's all of their work. So uh, a sample profile here includes your name and any credentials. So down here you can see C. Friedman Doan, PhD, and any affiliations. So C. Friedman Doan uh, works at Eastern Michigan University, also known as EMU, and she is in the Department of Psychology. It gives you a really quick research snapshot. So it tells you a little bit, okay, this person has 28 research items that could be uh, publications or places where they're cita cited, things like that. Um, this reads number is how many times uh, her articles have been read. And then the number of citations is how many times she's been her work has been cited. Uh, you can give a little introduction to your skill and expertise areas. Uh, so if, again, if you are into surgical nursing or orthopedics or whatever your research area is, it goes on here. Uh, you get a list of co-authors. So your network um, includes your co-authors, who you write with, as well as who has cited you or who you have cited and who has cited you. Um, so it's just kind of a good way to see, okay, what are all of the things that this person does in terms of research? It's a very quick view of that. Um, in addition, you can see the followers. So people that follow C. Friedman Doan and the people following, that, that C. Friedman Doan is following. She's only following one person. And then you get the list of research items. So these are your publications here. Um, and you will see that there is something that says view. There is a way to directly link to the article. And so that way it's really easy for people to just go and see the abstract or if they have full access, see the whole article. So to get started, uh, first we go to www.researchgate.net. And when you go there, there sh it should be a blank screen like this, uh, and you should be able to click on join for free. If you can't click on join for free down here, it is also available at the top, and you can click on join for free at the top. 
you're welcome to connect your ResearchGate profile with your LinkedIn account or your Facebook account. Although we don't recommend this, Facebook is more for personal use. And again, this is a professional uh, networking website. And so we prefer that you join for free using your CMU email address. So uh, once you click join for free, you will select your research type for the most part, you are an academic or a student, um, a faculty member. It's possible that you are a medical uh, researcher. If you don't do any teaching, if all you're doing is research and you're in the hospital or clinic, then maybe you'll click on medical. But for the most part, you are academics. Um, and so this is the best one to select here. So then you fill in your information. Uh, there are drop down menus, and so it should be fairly easy to fill in. Uh, but your institution is Chiang Mai University. Uh, again, Chiang Mai is two words, and we're spelling that C H I A N G M A I. Uh, the department is the Faculty of Nursing, capital F on faculty, capital N on nursing. Uh, and once you fill this in, please click continue. Then you fill in your personal information. Uh, so your first name, your last name, your institution email. This is your CMU email address. Uh, you need to use this because otherwise it will not connect you with Chiang Mai University. Again, this provides a level of uh, legitimacy and credibility to your work. Choose a password. It does not need to be your CMU password, but something you'll remember. Tick I agree and click continue. After that, uh, you may be asked if certain publications are yours. Uh, so if they are, uh, click I am the author. If it is not you, click this is not me. So in this case, I am not Carol R. Friedman Doan. I am simply R. Friedman Doan. So I clicked this is not me. Uh, once you've reviewed all of these publications, probably you'll have a lot more than I do. Click continue. You'll be asked if anyone recommended you to join ResearchGate. Uh, please click yes, and then click my professor, supervisor, or advisor, and then press continue. Then you'll be asked to select your discipline. This is the area where your research takes place. So first, please click on medicine. A second menu will come up. Please click on nursing science. So everyone associated with the Faculty of Nursing at Chiang Mai University will have nursing sciences. Uh, and then you can click on any other disciplines or sub-disciplines that are applicable to you. Uh, you can only pick up to three just as an FYI, but you can definitely pick a few more that relate specifically to what you do your work on. When you're done, click continue. Uh, on this next page, add any skills or expertise you may have. So this is specific to your nursing practice. Uh, you can add your own area. If yours isn't listed here, they have a number listed already. So do take a look through. Um, if you don't see it, just type it in and press enter. Make sure, please, please make sure that you check your spelling very carefully. Uh, if you make a mistake, this will be listed publicly, and so it will be there for everyone to see. So we want to make sure that you are looking great. When you're done adding your skills and expertise, click continue. Uh, we do recommend that you add at least two to three areas of skills or expertise, just to make your profile really well-rounded. Next, you will get an activation email notice. So you'll need to check your email account, your CMU account, and then you'll get a link and you'll have to click it and just confirm, yes, this is me. Uh, when you, this is the email, click confirm email address. You will automatically be brought to the ResearchGate page with suggestions of who to follow. Anyone from the Faculty of Nursing CMU, please click. Yes, um, you want to follow anyone from the Faculty of Nursing. So if you recognize someone's name, someone's name or if you just know they work at the faculty, please tick them and then click Continue. 
Now your profile is complete. Uh, we encourage you to add more information in each of the sections. So similar to our other videos, there's lots of places to add information uh, and just make, make your profile really stand out uh, as well as a professional photo. Um, the one area that we really encourage you to add information to is your research. So click on add research. And this process is really simple uh, to add your research. So when you click add your research, a menu will come up on the right hand side. Click on the type of research you would like to add. For the most part, this will be published research, articles, books, etc. Uh, if you presented at a conference, you're welcome to include it as a conference paper or presentation uh, or poster, depending on how you presented the information. Um, if you have other things that you would like to add, please feel free, preprints or um, anything else. Maybe you've come up with a specialized scale or some sort of research tool, you can definitely add them here. So if you would like to provide access to the file, you can add a public file. Uh, the only thing that I want to say here is be sure you have permission. So some publishers, they hold the rights, they hold the copyright. And so you, even though it's your writing, uh, you cannot distribute that how you would like. And so you need to link to it or you need to let other people find it themselves. If you're not sure, uh, you can skip this step. You can add the file privately and that way people will send you an email and say, oh, I'm really interested in this. Can you send it to me? And you can say yes or no that way. Once you have added in all of the relevant information for your publication, so the type, the file, the title, any co-authors, the date of publication, the DOI, if you have one, uh, it, and especially the co-authors from Chiang Mai University, uh, click upload and then just keep doing this for as many publications as you have. And then your research gate profile will be all filled out and wonderful. Thank you so much.